Hello, this is James Whedon, and here is a presentation of the audio visualizer that was created for the Fundamentals of Electrical Engineering Class 2. So as you see here, the system of the audio analyzer consists of four major components. As we see here to the far uh, left, there is a summing amplifier that takes two auxiliary uh, channel inputs of a song or any other audio sample and then um, uses a summing amplifier to combine the signals together. Then going out from there, we have a low and high pass filter that based on predefined corner frequencies, uh, filter out a high frequency and low frequency portions of the song to send then to two peak detectors with uh, low pass filters to smooth out the uh, output such that it is a constant amplitude to then drive LEDs using uh, NMOS MOSFETs that were uh, set to common source. Looking here uh, for the design of the high pass and low pass filters, both were designed by looking at the frequency spectrum of the song using Audacity and then determining uh, what corner frequencies would best separate the uh, high frequency and low frequency content, such as uh, uh, bass, um, bass notes for the low pass and uh, snare hits for the high pass. Uh, in order to create both of these filters, a second order Salon key circuit was implemented so that the use of more uh, expensive inductors could be avoided and instead capacitors and a powered op amp could be used. Here is a quick demonstration So as you see here, the LED2 lights up based on the high frequency content and is able to fully turn on and off due to a combination of bias resistors. As with LED1, we also have it lighting up to low frequency content. And uh, as you can see, the LED1 uh, is allowed to stay on for longer periods of time due to a longer time constant for the uh, low pass peak detector. So moving forward, a um, quick conclusion here for the uh, audio visualizer. The audio visualizer taught the fundamentals of signals and system analysis through several uh, implemented microelectronic systems, such as operational amplifiers, high and low pass filters, peak detectors, and uh, MOSFET LED drivers. Uh, during the class, experience was gained with uh, circuit simulation software such as Multisim in order to perform AC sweep analysis, 
frequency spectrum analysis and cue point analysis to determine DC behavior of the circuit. As well, after creating a circuit through multi-sim, uh, we were able to forward the uh, simulation to UltiBoard in order to design and then fabricate a uh, PCB after which we soldered each of the pieces for a um, self-standing circuit. So um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for listening. Take care.